Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to a brand new video, welcome back to my channel. It is my favorite video and I'm hoping that this one is a little more upbeat than my last one, but you will know from the title of this video that I'm going to be talking about my August favorites. Needless to say, and I feel like I say this all the time, I, where is the time gone? I, I don't know. It's like poof. I have no idea where the summer went. I feel like this summer was very chaotic. I was striving to get to a point where I could just enjoy my summer. You know when you're just like wishing for happiness, solace, instead of like making it happen in your day-to-day -day life? It is the biggest regret that I have this summer. Probably the regret that I have most summers is just like enjoying every day, taking it day by day. So the last two weeks of August, I've been doing a really good job at just trying to like reel it in, take advantage of the last few bits. I've been structuring my days each and every day I wake up, I have a cup of coffee and I write in my planner what I'm gonna do that day. And I've just been trying to incorporate even more happy things. So for instance, today I woke up early, I had a cup of coffee and then I went for a walk. Then I just worked out and showered, did my hair. I'm trying to live my day as if I'm living like my fantasy world. And I'm just trying to enjoy the rest of summer that I have left. So I don't really know if that, it's probably very confusing, but I'm just trying to live my dream life now so that I make my life my dream life. Sprinkling happiness throughout our life, that is always my motto here. However manic, anxiety riddled I am, if you know, you know the drill. And you also know that I can talk a lot, so let's not talk a lot today. You guys know the drill. We're gonna be talking about makeup, perfumes, skincare, jewelry, clothing, shoes, handbags, books, you name it, whatever I have been in, I'm gonna talk about it. So let's hop into my August favorites. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy hanging out with me, subscribe and click the bell. This way we can hang out more often. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. You guys know I've been using Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Ultimate Defense SPF 50. I love this. I love how light it is, compact it is. And then this I bought on Amazon. This is the La Roche-Posay SPF 50. And I wanted to open this one up before I finish this one for comparing purposes. They are very similar. Are. Like honestly, the perfect dupe. Neither of them leave my face white. Neither of them leave my face too greasy. It blends into the skin beautifully. Highly recommend. You can't go wrong with either one. And I just feel like I've landed in such a good spot with my SPFs. If you know, I was so upset that Moran didn't make an SPF 50. I have bumped from SPF 30 to SPF 50 since turning um, 30, just because it was recommended to me by my facialist. And I was a little upset that Moran didn't have an SPF 50, but I'm not upset about it anymore because I have moved on. And I have found better. For eye creams, I am still using this one. This is one that I started using in July. Rodeal Dragon's Blood Eye Gel. It is to tone and hydrate. I really just love the contraption. You push it down and a little bit comes out. I did not apply any of this. So let's go ahead and apply this to the skin. And I apply it very gently around my eyes. I have very sensitive skin. If you're new here, I am 33 years old. I have dry but very sensitive skin. In the summer, my skin is a bit more combo because it's more, you know, it's more humid outside. I tend to get like eczema-like breakouts up here, which I had quite a few of those in the beginning of the summer months. We talked about products that didn't work for me. This one has been good. It has a very tacky, like sticky feel to it, but it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't make my skin feel dry. It doesn't irritate it. It's just a really good gel thick formula. The tackiness in my mind, I really feel like it helps to kind of like my concealer and keep it in place all day. I am really, really liking this. I use this both day and night. I'm gonna use my Laneige. I mentioned this in my last video. I am back on this. I really like it. Well worth the hype. But I did just wanna mention, I've been using my Lano Lips 101 ointment. What did Katie say? My girlfriend mentioned that she has the Rode Peptide, or they, the, I don't know, the Haley Bieber. The, you know the phone case that has the lip gloss in it? Well, that lip gloss, she said, like from being hot and then cold, it gets kind of like granular and it kind of feels like a lip scrub. This this does the exact same thing. I left this in my closet and my closet gets pretty hot in the summer. It kind of goes on very chunky now on my lips, but I will say it does a really good job of hydrating my lips. And I am someone where I am terrible at taking care of my lips. Like you guys know, I bite my lips. I eat my lips in the sun. I tend to forget to put SPF on my lips, which is terrible because I'm such an SPF advocate, but I burn my lips every weekend. It's just inevitable. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been using this at night and although the grand granularness is disgusting and I hate it. Like I just put it on and go to sleep and I'm not 
sitting in the granular, but I don't know what I did. It feels like there's sugar in it. You know, like those sugar scrubs that we used to use? I've just been exfoliating more. I feel like my skin needs it, especially in the summer months. You know, I wear a lot of sunscreen. I reapply sunscreen. I do double cleanse, but I just feel like even after I double cleanse, like sometimes it's just, it feels gross and I just need to get the dead skin off and anything else that may be left behind. So I personally have been exfoliating a bit more. I like to use gentler exfoliations, chemical exfoliations. I've been really loving this Kiehl's Ferulic Brew. It's a just an essence. I put it on a cotton round. So I'll wash my face, I'll double cleanse my face, and then I will go in with this right after washing and cleaning my face just to help lightly lift any of the dead skin cells and anything that I maybe like didn't get off when double cleansing my face. I also have been super into this Bioderma because I feel like a double cleanse doesn't really do the job all the time. I will wash my face. Actually, I will use this cleanser, which I finished this month, which I'm very, very sad to see this go, but I will just show up to my bathroom, you know, looking like I look with the whole meal deal, my whole face on. I will go in with a full pump of this. This is the, this is the Shiseido Perfect Cleanser oil so so good I've been using this for months and months and months a little goes a very long way and it lasted me a really long time and I love 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 the pump put this on my dry skin melt my makeup off of my face I will then go ahead and wash my face I'm still using my sorry I have such an itch in my nose I'm still using my face reality cleanser that my facialist gave me in May and then after that I will take this on a cotton round go over like my eye areas especially on the days where I wear mascara I have been wearing mascara a little bit more than I normally do just to get the leftover mascara off and especially like the days where I don't wash my hair which is most days um just to get the makeup off around the hairline everything off the sunscreen the makeup the gunk the ick now that I have finished my cleansing oil though by Shiseido my same girlfriend Katie bought me this really cute Eve Loom I haven't unwrapped it just because it's so cute but she got me the Eve Loom cleanser which I'm very excited I've heard great things about the brand and it also has a really cute little like summery clip in here maybe we should take this out look how cute my friend is so I'm gonna move on to this now I literally just finished this last night so I will use this tonight you guys know I love drugstore number seven like this ugh, it's so good advanced retinol 1.5 complex it's a night concentrate it's retinol so it does exfoliate your skin it helps to reduce fine lines because it is an exfoliator it helps to lighten any dark spots that you may have which I have quite a few from the sun it's inevitable no matter how much SPF I put on no matter how many times I reapply no matter how much I hide from the sun with a hat umbrella it doesn't matter I still get sunspots I love this this lasted me a really long time um, and I highly recommend such a good retinol but I'm moving on to an alternative retinol I'm pretty sure it's by Claudely. Caudalie, I always say that brand wrong, but I bought it during this for sale. I'm moving on to that in September and I will let you know at the end of September how I get on with that. I finished my Gucci Bloom. I really like this. It's a really beautiful scent. Clean, but a little like spicy, It ha which for me helps it stay a little bit longer on my skin. I don't know if I would buy this again. I like it, I don't love it, and I find that my Gucci Bamboo lasts on my skin a little bit longer, but I don't know if I would buy Gucci Bloom again. While we're here, let's talk about my nails. I did a terrible job of painting my nails for most of August. I was just a lazy, a lazy, lazy girl, tired and lazy. This was definitely the shade of August, considering it is the only shade that I've been wearing. It is what's on my fingers right now. I wish I had taken this out earlier in the summer. It's such a beautiful yellow, I love it. It is like a true yellow primary color yellow but this is opi this i believe was their summer launch that they released in exotic birds do not tweet and this is also on my toes um you could just call me big bird i also have been using the opi top coat which i like a little bit more now since i have stopped using my eucerin spf 50 body lotion i just i stopped using it guys i had to like i really liked the lotion but it was just like stripping my nails of my nail polish so i moved on i've been using the elta m D SPF 50 and that has been great. It has not been eating away my nail polish, which has made me like this more because for a hot minute, I thought that the top coat was ruining my nails. Um, but alas, it is not. And so here we are. Are my pits? Yeah, okay, I shaved them. Thank God, I got a little nervous there. No, that's terrible. Should we open this and maybe use the cute little clip that Katie got me? Yeah, let's just open it. I'm excited for the cleanser, but when I saw this clip, oh my God, <gasps> look how pretty. When I saw this clip, I was like, Oh my God, yes. This has been the clip I've been waiting for. Like maybe this could be our new clip that we wear when doing our makeup. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm just gonna use my Dior Backstage Concealer. Quite literally the concealer that will never die. Absolutely nothing exciting to see here. 
I've also been loving this charcoal brush from Sephora. I don't know if they still sell this, probably not because I bought this so many years ago, but I just really love the, the little angle. Love how I can get in here. See how that just like automatically brightened my eye? Oh, it's so good. I just really, I love the shape, the angularness of it. I love it. Rare Beauty Stick. This one I have been really liking. I like the color. It's like a true brontour. And I've been putting it in the back. I haven't been applying it here. I don't know. It's just a new technique I've been doing. And I kind of just pat it into the skin. And I like how it like literally, like look, it blends out in two seconds. And it looks so natural so natural. I've just been adding a little bit more bronze because my body is not like super tan, okay? But it's more tan than my face. After Rare Beauty, I've been using the NARS Laguna and I'm taking it on this Yensa brush and I kind of just further kind of like add a little bit more warmth. This is more warm than the Rare Beauty. Um, the Rare Beauty has a little bit more of a gray undertone to it, like a contour tone. And then I like to put it over the bump on my nose just to like bring it back a little bit, just like that, okay? Into the crease of my eye and then a little bit down here. And I've been bringing it up on the sides just to give a more like chiseled look. It could be an anytime blush, all right? I'm not gonna lie, but it's very summery to me. This is Merit in the shade Stockholm. It really reminds me of my Charlotte Tilbury blush, which I will show you in just a second. I tried using that in a recent video. I think in my last vlog, you guys could have seen me use it, my chaotic blog before my girlfriends came. I packed the Charlotte Tilbury blush wand and it's like a very similar color to this, but it's a matte finish and I just, I like a juicier blush. Like I like that, that's so nice. I like more of like a bubblegum pink, especially since I've been wearing a lot of browns. So my hair is brown. Some in the crease of my eye, just like that. Here is the Charlotte Tilbury wand. This is in Pink Pot. Let me swatch the two colors. Very similar. Honestly, this is a little bit more of a light pink, but I just love the finish of Merit so much better. It just makes my cheeks look more alive, but you could see they're pretty similar. Both bubblegum, well, this is more of a bubblegum pink, and then this is more of like a baby pink. Charlotte has a matte finish, and Merit has more of like a juicy finish. I call it pri Prism Libre, but everyone is calling it something else. Prism Lieb? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep calling it Prism Libre. But I have the old one. I am not buying the new one because I've seen what the new one looks like. I watched Alana Davison's her video. I will link it down below. It is like highlighter. Don't like highlighter on my face, um, especially in this area. Like nobody wants highlight there. I like this to be matte like erase my pores. I'm upset about it and I will not be wasting my money on the new. Oh, son of a bitch, that's what I get. I just spilled that everywhere. And I just cleaned my vanity yesterday. I've been using a cat paw, a cat paw brush, y'all. I can't talk, so please excuse me. To just take out the makeup that has moved into my fine lines, especially under my eyes. It also kind of just takes out any excess makeup that I don't need on my face. Make my makeup last longer, especially in the heat, but I do like to put this all over my eyes, underneath here, where I put the contour and the bronzer and the blush. Lift my face a little bit, but look at that. Like this, Givenchy, why would you change? Why would you change this formula? It is simply stunning. I think that this is discontinued. I got this a really long time ago. I, I think it was sent to me, but this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. And then there's like two highlighter shades up here, but I don't really use them. I like this because no matter what cream blush I pack, I can find one or make one, mix one to match. If I like the blush that I chose, which I do, I wanna find a powder blush that matches that cream blush. So I'm gonna go for this color right here. And I'm gonna do mostly this, but then take a little hit of this. So just like that. And then I'm gonna pat over top. It kind of just like enhances the color without really changing the color. See, it kind of just enhances it and this will help it to last all day long. For brows, I have been mixing it up quite a bit. I did buy this in July and I used it for a lot of August. I'm kind of on the fence about this. Now I love Honeybee Gardens. If you know me, you know I like, I obsess over their lip liners. I think they're such an interesting brand, like very indie. I really like the owner. She's super cute on TikTok. I really love Honeybee Gardens. Like I love them as a whole. I don't like super, super love this, but I think it does fit a kind of like brow niche. Now, this is their Fine Point Brow Pencil in the shade Walnut. I love, love, love the color. This is the Fine 
point pen. I'm sorry, I'm really struggling to speak today. And then there is a spoolie on the other side. Brow gel first. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place. This is the Wow Brow. I don't know what shade I'm in because it came off of the bottom. I love this brow gel. It's so good. July, I was using all Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really have fallen back in love with her brow pomade. Oh my God, it's so good. I did use that a lot in August as well, but I figured let me mention this one because depending upon the day, I do different things with my brows. It's just, it really depends on the vibe. It depends on the mood, but I wanted to mention this kind of routine because I didn't mention it last time. So that is the e.l.f. brow on, and then I'm gonna take this walnut shade. It's dark, but it's not too dark. It goes on really light, so it's very beginner friendly. If you are someone like me where I take tend to go in with a heavy hand <laughs> when it comes to my brows. I'm just that kind of person where I try to get them perfect and then I end up drawing on too much. Like I just, they become block brows because I just keep going and going and going. This kind of helps to prevent that because it doesn't go on too pigmented. They're a little bold, but not too bold. I will link this down below. I will put my Amazon storefront. If you're interested, you can shop my storefront. I always take my concealer brush, whatever brush I used, um, and I kind of just like to go over the tops of my brows and kind of just clean them up. A very non-committal cleanup. Those are the brows. Let me know what you think. I've just been taking my NARS Laguna bronzer. I've just been framing my eyes using my Scott Barnes. This is his 62 brush, but you can use any kind of fluffy tapered brush. You don't need this one, okay? You can get one at the drugstore. It's not that serious. Neither is this eyeshadow application. I've just been doing this and I've been doing this and this has like really been it. This has been my favorite eyeliner, okay? I don't know what it is. This eyeliner is very different. This is Charlotte Tilbury's classic eye powder pencil. I freaking love this classic brown shade. I find that her eyeliners are very hit or miss. They're either beautifully made like this, so good, or they're a little bit like chunky creamy, which I don't like, but honestly, I just, keep it to the waterline. You've seen me do this a bajillion times. I just keep it to the waterline to help define the lash line. It kind of makes me look like my eyes are a little bit more defined, like they're not floating on top of my face because I'm not wearing a lot of eyeshadow. And it also kind of helps to make it look like I have more lashes than I actually do. That's just so much more defined of a lash line. I'm going to curl my lashes using my Tweezer Man eyelash curler. Damn, she is busted. I'm gonna throw my YSL Lash Clash on. I don't like this mascara. I really want it to be over. I think the color is great. I think the formula is overhyped and it like looks good right after you apply it. Then after a bit of wearing it, my lashes just like fall. Like they don't hold a curl with this. I don't know if it's the summer in the heat. After a while, like the mascara kind of like disintegrates on my lashes. That's the mascara on. You may be thinking fortune, your lashes look great, but they don't look that great and they're only gonna get worse. A lot of lip products, y'all know. I love lip products. I love a good summer jutsy lip. I love a light peach. I love it all. I'm gonna mention a lot of the lippies that I wore this month. Obviously, we will choose one to battle it out. Maybe I'll show you one. We'll layer another layer. I don't really know. But you guys know, I always have multiple lip combos that I lean towards within a month. The lip liner of August was definitely my Anastasia Beverly Hills in Muted Mauve. Dusty brownish pink. I'm gonna apply this to my lips just because the other lip liner that I've been using is still my Gucci brow pencil. I love it. I have been using it nonstop. I use this in my July favorites video because I discovered this little technique in July. Eyebrow pencil from Gucci as a lip liner. Now that is definitely more brown, but it's like the perfect contour shade. It just adds like a little bit of a shadow. And I just like to keep it to the very bottom. I try to envision like my big juicy plump lips. Like if I were to ever get my lips done, which I won't because I'm terrified. If I were to get them done though, I place this wherever there would be a shadow because I have big lips. I put it right on my cupid's bow, right here, just right there. And then right down here. Cause if they were plump, I would have a shadow here and I have a shadow there. And like, honestly, that looks so pretty in and of itself, just like that. But you know, we can't stop, won't stop here. I'm gonna put the Charlotte Tilbury Candy Chic on because this has really been the lipstick of August. It's a really beautiful color. Um, I didn't like it at first. I thought it was a little bit too pinky. I don't apply too many layers and it gives a really nice, my lips, 
but better. It's a beautiful pink shade. Also been really, really loving the Gucci brow pencil as a lip liner with my Made for Peach. And what I love about this is this gives a lip gloss kind of vibe. Like it gives the shine of a lip gloss. It gives the hydration of a lip gloss. But what's so good about this is that when my hair is down and I'm outside, cause you know, it's the summer. I'm spending as much time as I can possibly spend outside. My hair is whipping around in the wind and my hair doesn't get stuck in this like it gets stuck in lip gloss. Like I love my e.l.f. lip oils. I love my NYX fat lip oils, but I hate when my hair gets stuck in them. So this has been a beautiful alternative. Let's just throw a little bit on in the middle for like, look, it's the prettiest peach. It's so good. It could be light. Like if you want it to be a light peach, you could dab it. If you want it to be more of an opaque shade, you can go over and over and over. It's just, I love these. These are the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Balms. They have hyaluronic acid in them. I own Made for Peach and I also have Life is Pink, which is a beautiful bright pink shade. You've seen this before. This is not new news because I did not shop at all in August. So speaking of not shopping, I shopped my stash and I found this NYX Butter Lip Gloss. So this is in the shade fortune cookie. This is so pretty and I just I love how light of a peach it is. It's so it gives me like MAC see-through vibes, but I like this formula better. I just I find that like the MAC lip glasses are too thick, but this does that thing where it absorbs into your lips. It helps to hydrate them and it kind of makes them a little bit more smoother than they are. So yeah, it's so good. I love this. Highly recommend. Also, when I was shopping my stash, I am reacquainted with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi highlighter. I just pick it up like this and I put it right here. And then I take a little bit and I put it under my entire brow bone, just like that, just to help clean the brows up with a little bit of highlighter. But can you see the difference between this and this, such a good color. It's so natural looking. It adds the prettiest pop, makes my eyes look awake. And then I like to put some here, some here. I oftentimes put some on the Cupid's bow a little bit and I'll put a little bit on my chin and then blot it out with my finger. And there we have the finished makeup look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me take my hair down. I really, this clip is so freaking cute. Let's see if it ruined my hair though. If it did, it's okay because most of them ruin my hair, but. No. Give me one second. I'll comb my hair. I'll let my camera stop overheating. <sighs> Since the moment I got this, I have not stopped using it. It is rather small. It is a crossbody, which I don't love, but this is the Fendi Fendi Griffey bag. I think I maybe used it once as a little fortune cookie bag. It's super cute and I like it. It's not my vibe though, because it fits even less when you fold it up like this. It's an all year round bag, but just the shade of it, it goes so beautifully with light blues, which I've been wearing a lot of light blues, like purples, pinks. I've just been trying to get all the color in while I can before the summer comes to a close. It has Fendi on the bottom. I'm shocked to say this. In the weeks that I have been working from home, this has been my everyday bag. This fits my notebooks, my wallet, sunglasses, tissues, keys. It fits everything. This is my Goyard bag. I will link it down below. It is the one with the zipper up top. What I love most about this is how lightweight it is. Whatever you put in this determines the weight of your bag. I don't know if Gianni Carini sells them separately, but if they do, I will link it down below. This came with my hobo bag. I believe I mentioned the green one in my July favorites. And then I think the white one was in my June favorites, if I remember correctly. The bag comes with this on the inside, so it clips on the inside like this. But what I've been doing is I've just been looping it around like so. Now it's a little wristlet. I love this. I bring this to the beach whenever Mike and I go to the beach. So I'll have my Giganta Evil Eye beach bag, which I love. I've showed you that before. But I'll bring my big bag to the beach and then I will put things in here like my wallet, my keys, my cell phone, money, like anything that I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving on the beach. So that say if it's lunchtime and Mike and I or whoever we're with wants to go and grab some food, we will leave all of our crap on the beach so that we don't lose our spot. And I will just take this little wristlet it with me to lunch, to the boardwalk, to wherever it is we're going. The green is just so fun and this matches my Evil Eye beach bag. Also a lot of my bathing suits. This is just like the tone of my summer life on the beach. I just, a lot of greens, a lot of blues, a lot of browns, a lot of purples. In terms of jewelry, I really have not changed it up too much. I'm still wearing my same necklace. This has been like the summer necklace. It has my Italian horn. I'm a Loika. Still wearing this Amazon earring that looks like a guitar pick that has a little evil eye in it. These I bought at Ann Taylor like a lifetime ago. Little paperclip earrings. I love them. I recently went through all of my jewelry 
jewelry because I did do an updated 2024 everyday jewelry collection and while I was doing that I was going through the enormous amount of jewelry that I have especially like costume jewelry I was going through all of that and picking pieces that I would like to kind of like put into the rotation a little bit more and these are definitely one of them they're just so fun and I like I like the noise that they make it makes me it makes me feel sassy you know I used to have the fake nails and would like you know on things and now that I don't have fake nails I sass with my earrings that's my sass and then on this side I have the blue Nile earring that my mom bought me for Christmas last year Cartier clash Mike's signet ring panther ring by Cartier my David Yurman cable pinky ring and cleef alhambra my tennis bracelet that Mike bought me rosary bracelet that used to be on this wrist but I moved it over here so now Mary has joined the gang over here so I have my turquoise bracelet Cartier love bracelet and my Cartier nail bracelet In September I really want to wear my Cartier watch more hopefully next month I will report back and tell you that I have not been wearing this as much. I love the the eye watch. It's great for like work, but I'm just, I'm tired of being on all the time. I'm tired of just like the constant messaging. I need a little bit more of like balance in my life and I don't think that the Apple watch supports my balance. I'm also still wearing my wedding band and my engagement ring, sorry. I was scrubbing the bathroom earlier today and I took it off and I forgot to put it back on more so than anything else. I wear her every day. In terms of clothing, I have been really heavily relying on my Rent the Runway just because when it comes to Rent the Runway, I like to rent more like outlandish things that are not staples, basics, so on and so forth. Like this is a basic and I bought this and we're gonna talk about it because I love these Amazon tops. But I've been wearing a lot of dresses. I've been trying to really hone in on colorful chic Barbie. That's really been the vibe. I have just been like dressing up, wearing a lot of dresses, wearing a lot of pinks, wearing a lot of blues, just very girly. And then in the fall winter, I kind of get a bit more grungy. In terms of basics, I recently found these tank tops. I have quite a few tank tops. Now I know this is the end of the summer, but I feel like we can wear tank tops all year round. We can wear tank tops under sweaters. Do you know? This is like a scoop neck thicker strap and these are crop tops. What am I saying? Now these are the original straps that I bought. Same company on Amazon. I will link them down below. These are the ones that I fell in love with, but a much skinnier like spaghetti strap. I love these. I just feel like the cut is very flattering. They're both very flattering. And although I'm wearing a bra today, oftentimes I don't wear a bra with either of these tank tops because the material is stretchy but tight. So I feel like it keeps me in and like helps to hold the ladies where I like the ladies to be. I have this color. You can never have enough white tank tops. Thicker strap because I own this color already in the thinner strap. White in a thick strap too. Personally I like the thicker strap better but either strap will do you good. What I love about them they're a little pricey. It's like $20 for a tank top but I bought all these colors and I brought them down the shore and then my two girlfriends came and stayed the weekend at the beach house with Mike and I and it was just so good because I had these tank tops in every color. Girlfriend Katie. I talk about Katie a lot in this video. I have Katie on my mind. She's actually going to Capri. I'm very jealous but I'm more so excited to see the outfits that she wears but she came and she was like I don't have a top for the skirt and I literally was like welcome to my array of tank tops that I bought on Amazon they're just so good I personally like the crop tops because I have a small torso so they fit me like they hit me right where my waist begins but they do come in full length if that's more your vibe go for it but personally I like the tank tops also a surprise find of August because my mom bought these for herself and then she was like there's no way that these are gonna fit me. These are amazing. And what I will warn you though, I will warn you, if you're trying to be a chic bitch, not that these are ugly, but they're just tank tops. You put this on, it ain't coming off your body. Like you can live in this, you can work in this, you can work out in this, you can sleep in this. These are from Gap. They are Gap Body. I'm in a size medium and they have a built-in sports bra. I don't know, you definitely can't see that, but they have a built-in sports bra, but it's like it hugs your ladies and it just feels so comfortable. I cannot rave about these tank tops anymore. Big shout out to mom for these. She gave me a black one, grayish taupey one. Oh my God. I will work out and then after I shower, I will put this on and uh, some days I will just wear it all day into the night, into the morning because I will wear it all day with an outfit and then I will go to sleep with it on. I give zero Fs. It's so comfortable. These have been in the shoes of the summer. They are very casual, but can also be very elevated. I wear them with jean shorts and a tank. I wear them with my crazy outlandish like Rent the Runway dress it, dresses. Dresses. <laughs> I actually want to go on M. Jimmy today. Oh no, but I'm on a no buy. Okay. 
in September. I will see if they have more colors of these because I think I bought them on sale at the end of, not last summer, maybe the summer before. August, I participated in a no buy by myself and it was really good. I had a lot of anxiety about being an over consumerist. Is that a word? I don't know. That was making me feel bad. I, we've talked about this so many times. I'll link a video here. If you don't know what I'm saying and you missed it and you would like to be informed about what I'm talking about. But I had a moment where I was just like, you know what? I feel terrible going on YouTube. I feel terrible going on social media. I hate it. Everyone is just like constantly promoting like hauls. It's just haul after haul after haul after haul. And I was just like, you know, I'm tired of being bombarded with buying things because it gives me anxiety. I'm someone where when I see something and I want something, I have to buy it. Other Otherwise I like harp over it. It's weird. I think it's a part of my anxiety. I don't really know. Um, I've never been psychoanalyzed, but maybe I should. I did two things. I went on a no buy for August and I felt way better about over consuming. However, my anxiety shifted to other things. Don't really feel like talking about it. I just feel like my anxiety always finds something else to anxiety over, if that makes sense. And I also was really good in August about not going on Instagram or TikTok. I find like Instagram makes me feel terrible. I'm not a photogenic person. I hate when photos are being taken of me and I just feel like going on Instagram and looking at beautiful people who take beautiful pictures. I don't know why I let it reflect on me poorly. I haven't been on social media. I haven't been buying and I feel good about the two. I'm currently reading Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. Really good book. It's basically about this couple that I think they're like in their mid twenties and they've like been on and off a part of each other's lives since they were like kids. And it's just basically this love story about these two people who are very tumultuous towards one another, but they just can't like get rid of the other one. I didn't really love it at first, but it took a turn. And now I'm like very intrigued, very interested. I think it's a three part Art series. I'm on book one. So far it's a really good book and I'm enjoying it. I'm back on these. I forgot about these little slip hair ties. Honestly, I think I was a little pissed off at them because they're so expensive, but I had just been using like the black kitsch hair ties that I bought at Ulta like several months ago. They leave a crinkle in my hair every time. These do not. So if you're someone that likes to straighten your hair, curl your hair, when you're working out and you just need your hair out of your face, get this. Honestly, this is better than a hair clip too. I find like the hair clips sometimes leave a crinkle in my hair too. These are just so good at not leaving a crinkle in your hair. Last but not least, I am currently doing Sydney's Com Sydney Cummings. You guys know she's a YouTuber here. She's like a fitness trainer. She does free videos here on YouTube, workout videos, a lot of weightlifting, but I'm currently doing her balance program. I will end it, I believe on September 2nd is my last day, but I'm really enjoying it because I did her 90 day program. I did her summertime fine. It was like a serious program and I really am enjoying the balance program. It's incorporating weightlifting, but it's not weightlifting heavy which I find summertime fine was. I really am enjoying the more low impact workouts in a nice way to like round out the summer on a more zen note. So I'm really enjoying that and I'm very excited to see what her next fitness program will be. In terms of September, I didn't even show you my journaling notebook because I really didn't journal a lot. So again, for the third month in a row, I would like to journal a bit more in September. I would also like to go back to yoga. I went back to yoga one time in August and it was was game changing. I felt like a whole new woman. I want to declutter my life. I want to donate some clothes. I love you guys so much. Let me know down below in the comments. What were some of your favorite things in August? What do you plan on doing a bit more in September? What are we looking forward to? I need to go to Home Goods. I need to buy the damn Halloween things. Halloween is my favorite holiday and I don't mean to rush us all. I need to go and I need to buy um, decorations before there are no more decorations to be had. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not done so yet. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for spending your summer with me. It's been a little bit chaotic, but you know, it's been fun. I also had a lot of anxiety this summer and I'm taking it day by day and I'm trying to make good decisions along the way. Um, but yeah, I had, I had fun regardless and it can only go up from here. I love you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.